Greetings and salutations everyone, welcome back to Invisibility as a project. I am your host, Invisible from Invisible's Gaming Channel, the Sister of the Stitcher Screen, Quest of the Voiceless. Um, last time we finished uh, Beyond the Blue, I came about the free diving and environment awareness. Today, I'm going to make a very quick video about a request I was given. In my latest poll in 29th of uh, May 2024, I gave my viewers uh, four options. Playing Kid Amnesia, Aim Amnesia, a 911 operator, super hot, everything sandbox, or yes, for them to search just user named Chaoserative suggested psychiatric evaluation. So, I searched through DuckDuckGo, I don't use Google, and found out this page here, the Mental Health America, which is screening dot man m it's a national dot uh, org forward slash screening tools um, forward slash. This will be a very quick, hopefully under two hours and a half, in which in this video I will quickly take the depression test, the anxiety test, the ADHD test, bipolar test. Uh, psychosis and schizophrenia test, PTSD, even though I never had sex in my life, eating uh, disorder, addictive uh, addiction test. Otherwise, I have no other uh, things to take. Since this is a very quick and rather easy request to do, it would also be counted as a project. I'm not even doing one bit. So let's get moving. Depression test. I'm not even joking. This will be considered as a project, literally. So thanks again very much for um, a fellow user, a Kayo Sertiv, for uh, the suggestion for physical evaluation, psycho psychiatric evaluation. Let's go. Depression test. Um, over the last two weeks, how often have you been bothered by any of the following problems? Uh, please note, all fields are required. By the way, I am as per usual using my screen's uh, mic for all the audio... Um, for the microphone audio recording. So anything that comes out from uh, the background is none of my business. And since usually my own voice sounds like whispering, I had to go for the suppression limiter threshold minus 10 per decibel, noise gate. Everything I see or do sadly is being magnified at the very least 10 times. So, any kind of uh, audio from the background that you hear is not my business. Really. Okay, a uh, little interest or pleasure in doing uh, things. Um, more than half. Feeling down, depressed, or hopeless nearly every day. Uh, trouble falling asleep or staying asleep or sleeping too much. Um, I think it's nearly every day. I can't sleep without being clear for the side effects of making me sleepy. Being tired or have little energy all the time. Uh, poor appetite or overeating all the time. Feeling bad about yourself or that you are a failure, blah blah blah, or have uh, let yourself or your family down all the time. Trouble concentrating on things as reading out the newspaper or watching the television. Why do you think I'm using this application here? Uh, read aloud the text to speech uh, voice reader. I can only read efficiently as I used before to. 
moving or speaking so slowly that other people have uh, could have noticed that the, uh, the opposite being so fidgety or restless that you have been moving around a lot more than usual so moving or sleeping slowly I'd rather not sleeping I'd rather not speaking at all honestly I hate to bother others with my own voice Thoughts that you how would uh, be better off dead or hurting yourself all the time? If you need immediate help, you can reach the suicide and the crisis lifeline by calling or texting 988 or using uh, the chat uh, bot chat box at 988lifeline.org. Last time I uh, spoke with a lifeline uh, line. I was uh, treated as a criminal, and uh, stuff happened, and I'd rather die than ever asking for help ever again. I'm not joking. If you check out of any of the problems, uh, how difficult are these problems made it for you to work or uh, be with people? Uh, me? Somewhat difficult. I don't feel care anymore. Next. Please take a moment to answer the following optional questions. Your answers are totally anonymous. We want to be able to identify you based on the information. Your answers um, help us provide better information and support for people like you. You can answer as many or as few as you like. Uh, when you are done, scroll to the bottom to the survey to submit. So anything here is just optional and not enforced. What is the main thing you want to do after taking this mental health? Take another mental health. That's not all yet. No need for other stuff. Other options are understand what depression is like. I already read about it. Understanding and managing self harm or suicide thoughts. No need for it. Tips for managing depression, no need for it. Learn and practice skills for how to manage depression, no need for it. Learn about what therapy treatment is like. I already went through therapy and it was pointless. Find a treatment provider, maybe you don't need. Find a follow or support group for people with depression, you mean? So others can troll me endlessly, no need. Do you feel like you need uh, to do something to improve your mental health? No idea. Are you taking this test for yourself or someone else? Myself? No need. You, um, none of your business about my age range. Gender, obviously, I am male. Uh, race of ethnicity, none of your business. Household income, none of your business. Do you live in uh, India, uh, United States, or outside? I live in another country. I'm Canadian. And where I live is none of your business. None of your business? Uh, which of uh, zip code and uh, which of the following populates describes your trade that uh, none of your business I am a content creator how about your mental health have you ever received the treatment for your mental health problem none of your business even though I did are you receiving them now no I stopped after I discovered that they were pointless um, Think about what your mental health test. What are the main things contributing to your mental health problems? Um, uh, abuse or uh, violence, relationship problems, body image, low self esteem or self image, school or work problems, financial problems, uh, loneliness or isolation, grief or loss of someone. Or something experiencing hate, bullying, influencing uh, racism or discrimination, state of the world, crimes, uh, climate politics. I don't know, whatever. Continue moving. How about your health? Do you currently have health insurance? None of your business. Do you have any of the following physical conditions? Uh, heart disease, reproductive issues, a peak. 
que COS, endometriosis, infertility, diabetes, cancer, arthritis, whatever, asthma, COPD, or other lung conditions, movement disorder, involuntary tics, uh, third, uh, is whatever this thing, I don't know, digestive problems, neurological conditions, few results. My result here, according to Mental Health America, is uh, severe depression. Score is 26 out of 27. There you go. Take another mental test. Let's go after... Um, I'm not a parent. An anxiety. Okay, for the last two weeks, how often have you been bothered with the following problems? Feeling nervous or anxious or in the edge all the time? Not being able to stop or control, uh, control worry? I don't even know what that means. But I think it's uh, all the time. Bring too much about different things all the time. Trouble relaxing all the time. Being so restless that it's hard to sit still. Um, more than half a day. Becoming easily annoyed or irritable all the time. I hate so many things. Feeling afraid if something awful might happen all the time. Next. All I think the optional stuff. No need for. Uh, Your results. Severe anxiety, obviously. 20 out of 21. Another one. An ADHD risk test. How often do you have a trouble wrapping up final details out of a project once the challenging parts have been done? All the time. How, why do you think I always uh, end up changing the titles of my videos from part something to final part? How often do you have difficulty getting things in order when you have to do a task that requires organization? It requires concentration, so just sometimes, but not always. How often do you have problems remembering appointments or obligations? Often. That's why I started writing them down. When you have a task that requires a lot of thought, how often do you avoid or delay getting started? Sometimes, not always. How often? Uh, yeah, liar. Because I have my college assignment. And I am, uh, let's say, how often do you avoid it all the whole time? Well, how often do you fidget or squirm with your hands or feet when you sit down for a long time? Almost never. When I am alone, when I'm sitting alone for a long time, I just start singing in my head. Or, uh, oh, I do fidget with my at least fingernails uh, to the point where I don't have any. So sometimes. Otherwise, I'm on my phone. How often do you feel overly active and compelled to do things like you were uh, doing by October? Really? How often do you make careless mistakes when you have to do a work or a boring? Uh, or a boring or difficult project. Less mistakes. Sometimes. How often do you have difficulty keeping your attention when you are doing or uh, a boring or repetitive work? Um. Sometimes. How often do you have difficulty concentrating on what people say to you, even 
when they are speaking to you like this. Never. If someone is speaking with me directly, you have my full 100% absolute attention. And every detail you say, I will remember. How often do you miss a place or have difficulty finding things at home or work? Really? How often are you distracted by active noise around you? Often. I actually very often because if I were listening to something, all of my senses would have to go to that thing to identify it and tell me what it's about exactly. For example, if I'm going to listen to a song in the background, I can't just listen to it and ignore it. I need to learn its lyrics, the beat, and if it relates to me or not. I get too much distracted by its noises. How often do you leave your seat in a meeting or other situations in which you are expected to remain seated? Um, really? Unless I must go somewhere, like better more. Uh, how often do you feel restless or fidgety? Um, sometimes? How often do you have difficulty unwinding and relaxing when you have time to yourself? Um, never. How often do you find yourself talking too much when you are in a social situation? Uh, never. I am the silent corner. I... Even in a social situation, I am not noticed. I'm never noticed. In fact, I do not even talk. I just sit down or stand up. Completely silent, walking around. That's it. When you're in a conversation, how often do you find yourself finishing the sentences of the people who you are talking to before they can finish themselves? Oh, boy. Very often. Uh, kind of too often, actually. How often do you have difficult ta uh, difficulty waiting your turn in a situation when a turn taking is required? Um, often. Especially when it's an adductor appointment. The waiting is insufferable. How often do you interrupt others when they are busy? Yeah, all the time, because, you know, I am cursed with the curse of uh, everyone around you is busy all the time, doing everything, and you are the one nuisance that nobody at all was meeting with. So, yeah, I always interrupt them all the time when they are busy, because they never have time with me, ever. Next. Uh, skip the optional stuff. A view result. Uh, my results for ADHD test likely. Over the score of four out of six. Uh, in attention five out of nine. Hyperactivity and positive three out of nine. The results indicate that you are experiencing some signs, but not too much. Take another mental test. As I told you, all of this will be considered as a project done, because it was requested. Let's go for bipolar uh, test. Okay, uh, has there ever been a period of time where you were not your usual self, and you felt so good or high par that other people thought you were not your normal self, uh, or you were so hyper that you got into trouble. Um, yeah. Were you so irritable that you shouted at people or started to fight or arguments? Yep. Yeah. You felt so much self confident than usual. Never. You got much less sleep than usual and found you didn't really miss it. 
yeah. Previously, I had to remain awake for three days and three nights, and really they didn't bother with me that much. Other than the visual hallucinations and the audio hallucinations, but honestly, after finishing that cursed assignment, I went to bed for only two hours and then woke up again. But Richard, you were much more uh, talkative or spoke faster than usual all the time. Thought uh, rest through your head or continuously slow your mind down. Yeah. You were so easily distracted by things around you that you had trouble concentrating or staying on that track. Yeah. All the time. You had much more energy than usual. No. You were much more social or outgoing than usual. For example, your telephone friends in the middle of the night. Unless it's an emergency, never. Took a sip from my coffee to make me remain awake. You were much more uh, interested in sex than usual. I never had that in my life, ever. Do the things that were usually for you or the other people might have thought were excessive, foolish, or risky? Possible. Spending time and uh, spending money got you or your family into trouble. Um, never. If I have money, I will bank it. I never use money uselessly. Needlessly. If you check yes to more than one of the above, have uh, have a several or of these have happened in the same duration or the same period. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, now, how much of a problem did any of these cause you? Like being unable to work, having family, money, or legal troubles? Um, minor. Have any of them, your blood relatives had manic depression, illness, or bipolar disorders? Yep. Has a health professional ever told you that you have manic uh, depression, depressed illness, or uh, bipolar disorder? Um, no. Next. Skip the uh, option stuff. Your results. Bipolar uh, test negative. Your score is 8 out of 18. Your results indicate that you are experiencing none or very few sign signs of bipolar. Take another mental test. Let's go for psychosis or schizophrenia. Again, this will be counted as a project. I'm a joke. In the past month, have you had the following thoughts, feelings, or experiences? Tickets or no for each item? Do not include experiences that occur only while under the influence of alcohol, uh, drugs, or uh, medications. They will not skip to you. If you answer yes to an item and it also indicates distressing or experiencing, have experience have uh, been to you, just go for it. Past month alone. Uh, do you do familiar surroundings sometimes seem strange, confusing, uh, threatening, or unreal to you? No. Have you heard unusual sounds like banging, clicking, hissing, clapping, or ringing in your ears? I mean, we are living literally next to a police station, so no, everything is just normal. Do things that you see appear different from the way they will do? No. Have you ever had experiences with telepathy, psychic forces, or fortune telling? No. Have you ever felt that you are not in control of your own ideas or thoughts? Uh, no. Do you have difficulty getting to your point across because you ramp or get off the track a lot when you talk to people? Uh, yes. I always use metaphors and whatnot. Whatever. 
If yes, uh, when this happened, I feel frightened, concerned, or it causes this problem for me. I am. Um, uh, people hate to speak with me anymore. That's what happens. Do you have feeling or belief about being anyone gifted or talented in some way? God <laughs> forbid, no. Do you feel that uh, other people are watching you or talking about you? Yes. Because they make fun of me all the time and stuff. If yes, when this happens, I feel uh, frightened, concerned, or it causes me problems. To learn the agree, especially if these people were trolls, haters, or overall human cursed beings. Do you sometimes feel strange feelings or respect to your skin like my corn? No, I don't have currently numbness. Uh, do you sometimes feel suddenly distracted by distant sounds you are not normally aware of? Like right now, the sirens outside of the window? No. I told you, our neighbors are literally the police station. So, any voices are just normal for us. Have you had the sense that some person or force is around you, although you can't see anyone? Uh, no. Do you worry at times that something may be wrong with your mind? No! When this happens, you feel uh, frightened, concerned, or because uh, your problems. Yeah, neutral. Have you ever felt that you don't exist or the world does not exist? No, I'd rather be dead. No. Have you, have you ever been confused at times with something you experienced were real or not? No. Do you hold the belief that other people find uh, would for, do you have beliefs that other people would find unusual or bizarre? Yeah, like being sincere or being uh, a literally serious person when the internet is a laughing stock or a joke or just trolls. Yeah, I do. Yeah. People find it bizarre that I do not joke around, I do not, I, that I take everything too much seriously, and that I'm not a stupid joker like most of the cursed human swine race. Does that make me concerned? No. Not really. Because the death to the human race, I don't care. Do you feel that parts of your body have changed in some way? Or the parts of your body are working differently? No. Are, you th are your thoughts sometimes so strong that you can almost hear them? All the time. How do you think I keep coming up with ideas about that? My thoughts keep talking with me all the time. No. I find it, uh, honestly, comfortable since at least I have company and stuff. Other than the humans. You find yourself being uh, mistrustful or suspicious of people all the time. And does it make me afraid? No. Because I know that uh, people outside are not trustworthy. Have you seen unusual things like flashes, frames, or whatever? Or geometric figures? No. Have you ever seen uh, things that other people can't see? No. Do people sometimes find it hard to understand what you're saying? All the time. It makes me angry. What do they miss? Can't understand what I'm talking about because they always think that I'm joking. Or turning around. Skip the option stuff, go to the results. Uh, okay, psychosis or schizophrenia. Low to no risk for the psychosis. Score 20 out of 105. Your results indicate that you have none or a few signs of psychosis. Take another mental exam. Uh, let's go for this time uh, PTSD. Even though I never say I had text in my life ever. What is it? Hold it. Push this test. Bro, it's not STD, it's PT, post just traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> I feel like I'm one right now. Well, it's the truth, I'm a one, so whatever. And I'm saying it in literal manner, not metaphorical manner or joking manner. 
post-traumatic stress disorder. We are talking about the mental health, not genital health. Sometimes uh, things happen to people that make uh, that are unusual or specifically frightening, uh, hor horrible. Okay. <laughs> For example, a serious accident or fire, physical or sexual assault or abuse, an earthquake or flood, or uh, seeing someone be killed or seriously injured, whatever, having a loved one die through a homicide or suicide. Have you ever experienced uh, this kind of event? If yes, uh, please answer the question below. In the past month, have you had nightmares about the event or thoughts or events when you uh, didn't want to? No. Uh, Try hard to not to think about the event or went out of your way to avoid situations. No. Been consistently on guard, watchful or easily startled. No. Felt numb or detached from people, activity or from whatever. No. In your surroundings, uh, felt uh, guilty or unable to stop blaming yourself for others in the event. I don't have survivor's uh, guilt, thank you very much, no. I don't really know, maybe because it's the it's, uh, TSD, I thought it was a, an STD. Maybe my problem is not mental, it's more visual, or maybe we can help. View results. Negative, 0 to 5. Okay, go for another one. So it is a post-traumatic stress disorder. Had you asked this me since much longer, I would have told you that yes, I do have. But I, I opted out of it because it was completely pointless. After all, I highly doubt that people with major depression would care about PTSD at all. It's everything in the same uh, plate. Okay. Two more to go, and that's it. Eating soda test. Please note all the fields are required to receive a final result. How much more or less do you feel worry about your weight or body shape than other people your age? Let us add more. I am a chubby person. Let's be real, I am a chubby person. Or uh, according to the testing, I am obese according to my weight and my height. And I don't really care anymore because I completely gave up. How afraid are you about getting th three pounds? A lot. Um. When was the last time you went on a diet? About one year ago, I think. Compared to other things in your life, how important is your way to you? Eh? A little more important. It's a little more important than other uh, things in my life, not that much. Do you ever feel fat, always? In the past three months, how many times have you had the sense of uh, loss of control and you also ate the most uh, people would regard unusual large amount of food at one time defines you um, zero? How many times? Uh, none. In the past three months, how of, uh, how many times have you done any of the following as means to control your way? Did yourself uh, throw up? Never. Use uh, diuretics or relatives? Never. Excessively exercise excessively. That's the reason why I stopped it because my knees uh, went down fasted. Never. Do you consume a small amount of food less than 12 calories or bigger? I don't know. Because I never cut my calories. Do you consume small? No. Do you struggle with the lack of interest in eating uh, or food? 
No. Do you avoid certain antenna or many foods because of such uh, features or textures? Consistent the temperature or smell? Or have people suggested that this may feel disgusting? I do avoid some things, but not everything, but it's I will say yes. Do you avoid the certain or the many food because of fear of experiencing negative consequences like choking or vomiting? Or have other people suggested that? No. Have you experienced the significant weight loss or uh, at a uh, low weight for your age? But you're uh, not too very concerned with the size of your life. Uh, no. Are you currently in the treatment for eating disorder? No. Optional, 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 then ignore. Ignore the African stuff, new results. At risk. Okay, take another mental uh, health. Um, the last one is addiction test. I didn't know that. Okay, addiction test is a paper for people who are concerned about their use of alcohol or drugs. The questions focus on the lifelong uh, alcohol or drug use. All fields are required when you are uh, when thinking about drug use, include illegal drug or uh, and uh, the use of uh, prescription drugs other than the pres prescribed. Have you ever felt that you ought to cut down drinking or uh, drug use? No, I never take them in the first place. Have people annoyed you by criticizing your drinking or drug use? No, I don't use them. Have you ever felt bad or guilty for your drinking or drug use? No. Have you ever had to drink or uh, use drugs first thing in the morning to steady your nerves? No. The thing, the first thing I do in the morning is uh, drink water. Nothing more, nothing less. What substance or uh, addiction are you concerned about? So the other three applies. Uh, alcohol, marijuana, cocaine or crack, heroin, prescribed opioids, Stimulants like uh, speed, myth prescribed uh, stems, uh, benzodiazepine, e.g., Xanax, Valium, um, tobacco, cell phone, gambling, sex, internet, shopping, maybe internet. I have maybe addiction to the internet. <laughs> Just internet and game, maybe. Gaming, not gambling. That's it. Okay, skip the optional stuff. Unlikely alcohol or substance use, zero to four. We're done. With this said, I think this will be it. Uh, depression test, we're done. I did the test, we're done. I ADHD. Bipolar, psychosis, and schizophrenia, PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder, eating disorder, and addiction disorder. Well, self injury survey. Let's check this one out. Self injury survey. Okay, in this survey, we want to learn how many, about how many times you, when you hurt yourself on purpose, without wanting to die. When we say self-injury, we mean doing something that causes immediate pain or self-injury. Including that cutting, burning, or scratching your skin. Self-injury does not include the things that could cause immediate pain, like eating too much or too little, using drugs or alcohol or over-exercising. Self-injury does not include things that cause immediate pain that are socially acceptable, like getting piercings or tattoos. Um, getting piercings or tattoos are not socially acceptable. It's just a degeneration of the society because uh, both of them are disgusting and cursed. When I say cursed, I'm not uh, saying about you disgusting. I mean cursed by divinity, as in smite be uh, on you. That's what I mean by cursed. Not as a joke, but as literal meaning. 
I'll save the text between 16 to 26 questions. Okay, let's go. Why are you asking these questions? Answering uh, these questions help you to reflect on your experience of self injury and it will help us to do two things. Develop a test to, to help you to understand the amount of uh, risk they have based on their current self injury behavior. Create resources to help the youth with self injury to visit our website. Okay, um, have you ever hurt yourself or. Uh, I'm not going to read everything here. Some of them, some of these questions are sensitive. We are hoping you to explore uh, how self injury and uh, how people self injure and what uh, the impact of self injury is. Some questions are similar since we are still in the process of choosing the best questions to support the test for this year. Just let's get moving. I don't care. Questions may also be hard to answer because it, you may not re remember specifics. Uh, don't uh, think too much. Have you ever heard yourself in this self harm or purpose? Let me remember if I did have that ever. Like on purpose, intentionally. Yeah. Next. Okay. Um, how old were you when you first engaged in uh, self injury? I cannot remember. I really can't remember. How old are you now in your business? How long have you engaged in it? Um, how about uh, how many times in your life have you ever engaged in it? Uh, by times we are referring to an episode of self injury. You may have multiple episodes in the If you had the estimate, how often do you say that your injuries resulted in permanent scarring? In the following question, please think about your self injury behavior in the past in the month. These do not uh, none of my business because all of them don't uh, don't uh, reflect on you. I'm not that much active with these things. Anyway, here you go. Um, user named uh, Kyosertiva. Your uh, psychiat uh, psychiatric evaluation request went just under 50 minutes. Okay. Take care, Mr. Flack. This will be. This will literally be considered as an a project. I'm not joking one bit. And I will even uh, add your name to the list next time we update it. Which will take place at the very least in one week. I am not joking. Why do I keep saying I'm not joking? Because some people just refuse to program their brains that peers, that people like me exist that mean every literal word they say. And always take us as a, as a literal joke. If you have to be kidding me about this, you have to be kidding me about that. No, I'm not. I'm not joking one bit. Not a single bit. Yeah, okay. Look. With this, literally, this means we are now at... Um, if I'm not mistaken, 94 out of... Uh, 
100. Nice. 60 projects left. Thank you.